Hey everyone, this is Tim and I hope you're doing well. This is a beautiful evening in Sapporo, Japan. And this is actually my last evening here, my last day here. Uh, I'm going to visit other places in Japan, uh, Kyoto. And uh, I thought it might be fun uh, to get there, not by plane or not by train, uh, but to take a ferry over to Kyoto. And it's one of these overnight ferries that uh, seems pretty interesting. Hopefully it's kind of grand and lots to explore and hopefully we can explore together. But uh, I still have some time to kill and uh, looking for my uh, one of the uh, a little bit of snack or a little bit of meal here. And uh, there's lots of food here in Sapporo, even here where you can see all the food trucks. And there's so a lot more from the uh, Nijo market with lots of seafood to a lot of the buffets here. And it's interesting that the buffets here in Japan always has a limit. Uh, back in Tokyo, the Imperial Buffet, really grand. Two hour time limit and same thing with the Hapuna uh, Five Star Buffet. That was kind of fun, uh, but uh, a little bit of a uh, pressure there. And to the extreme in uh, Sapporo, we have that all you can eat seafood, all you can eat king crab and uh, snow crab and the Hokkaido's chestnut crab. That was quite extreme at 70 minutes and I've never been so rushed before. So I'm pretty excited here because I found uh, one of Japan's uh, more elegant buffets uh, and I think it is more on the Japanese style. So really looking forward to that. And the good news is that it is unlimited in terms of time and food. So you can eat and peruse the buffet to your heart's content and uh, they won't rush you uh, a time limitless buffet and it's ironic because finally I found one that doesn't impose a time limit yet I have imposed a time limit myself because the ferry does leave uh, shortly so I do need to uh, limit the time and uh, eat pretty quickly so without further ado uh, let's go inside and have a good meal together uh, come on it's right over here and as usual for most places in Japan things are vertical so let's see what floor the buffet is on and there we see the Tsuruga buffet and that is on floor 2F I guess that's a uh, second floor I always go on the wrong side second floor and it is all about food there is a cooking studio so pretty interesting, I guess. It's a make your own food. Oh, and there it is. So they're just about to open. But let's see what they have. I think the steak and the tempura looks pretty good. And in a couple of minutes, let's go inside. Hi there. Hi. Okay, so this buffet is so elegant. Yumi, thank you so much for this wonderful table. Okay, thank you. So this is quite an elegant buffet and I have a table all to myself. Thank you, Yumi. Ah, with some rules. With the most important rule being the time is unlimited and you can use it until closing at 9.30 or until I have to catch my ferry. But uh, after perusing this really quickly, I think I got the gist. Uh, come on, let's go check out the buffet. And it looked really good coming in. I think it'll look even better when we just peruse and get all the dishes we can. I just need to get my pizza card for some freshly baked pizza brought to your table. And then my tray. All right, so this looks pretty elegant here. Your array of drinks and your rows and rows of desserts. And even more desserts from the creme brulee to these spherical looking things. Some green tea, beautiful pastries. And just like the hotel rooms, they are compartmentalized, compact, and small. And I believe the rule is this goes clockwise and starting off. So they have a salad station and starting off with my favorite salad, potato. And this has green soybeans. Never had green soybeans before. This is some herring. And I remember in Vietnam, this with the egg is called chi mek. And this I've had for breakfast before. This is some veggies. Oh, egg custard, steamed chicken, and the smoked salmon with potatoes. Definitely gonna go for some of this. And we have a grill station. I see 
steaks being grilled, made to order. And on the right, more appies. This is kelp with yam and tuna. Oh, this looks beautiful and vegetarian. This is tofu with sesame sauce and some more veg. But we are getting close to the hot compartments. And we saw chef grilling up the steaks earlier. And this is the result. This is steak, pan fried, and some luscious roast beef next to the other steak. And I don't know about you, but the meats in Japan are second to none. Really tender. And uh, I think we have some tofu. Yes, those are cubes of tofu. Uh, and this is rockfish. Never had rockfish before. Let's give that a try. Filling up quickly. Oh, and all the wonderful stuff that goes with steak and fish. Beautiful roasted potatoes with some buttery sauce and little trays of risotto. This reminds me, oh gosh, it wouldn't fit, but this reminds me of the Cosmopolitan in Vegas where they have little compartments of everything and there's more compartments here. Some roasted pork, hamburger, and spaghetti. And this gets even better, grilled scallops with butter and herbs and some salmon and clams. And I forgot there's a middle aisle. Some more veg, aubergine or eggplant, and some crudo serrano ham and cream cheese. Oh, and that is a luscious duck. Oh my goodness, and look at this. Rows of cold stations, and I think a little bit of corn soup for the first round because I'm running out of room on my tray. Hmm. So it's nice to get to sit back and relax and not be rushed, at least by the restaurant here and a beautiful view with a little bit of privacy and serenity. And it's always nice to come back to the table and find something new. Cheers to you. Mm. So let's start. And to start off with the little compartments, we have little knives and spoons or forks. We definitely need to try the steak first. And that is hidden by the risotto near the back. Cook really well. Mm. A nice crust, medium rare, and very tender. Mm. Nothing like steak and potatoes, and here are the potatoes with the white and the pink. Let's try a little bit of the pink potato with some Bernays, I think. Mm. Mm. I believe that's a potato or it tastes really close to a potato and very floral. A little bit more of the Bernays. Mm. Very good. So we got the steak and the potatoes. Let's do the surf and the turf. And for the surf, we will do the scallop. Oh. So I notice in Japan, they don't remove the um, outer side of the scallop. Let's give the whole thing a try. Mm. Mm. Every dish is small and delicate, like the scallop perfectly cooked, and a nice herb crust gives it a little bit of crunch. Very succulent. Mm. I'm really enjoying this buffet, and that roast beef is looking really good. And we'll add a little bit of potato salad with it. I hope this is a wise choice. Mm. It's a one biter. The roast beef has a bit of texture, a bit of chew. Not tough. But this steak is super tender. Mm. We'll definitely go for more of that. But before I finish this off on my own, I'm gonna try that egg custard with our little spoon. Oh, again, 
Very delicate, very elegant. Unlike myself. Cheers. Oh. Very good. So I'm going to finish this round of compartmentalized buffet number one. And we'll take it back for some more because they have so much more from the sushi and some hot food. And I got to get my pizza. So we'll take it back. Cheers. That first round was so nice and pleasant. That risotto is not a risotto of rice. It is a risotto of barley. But I got to tell you, that corn soup was absolutely heaven. Nice and silky and sweet and creamy with a little bit of the crunch and the sweetness of the corn. I would go for multiple of those if there wasn't so many other things to try. And that rockfish, very nice. Charred on the outside, yet still moist on the inside. It was just on the verge. And with this, I think we'll go for round number two and we'll clear this off and move these into a return tray. All right, let's go. <clears throat> Counterclockwise again, so I know I'm going in the right direction, unlike the escalator from earlier. And here we go, starting where we left off, some salads. We have the coleslaw, some cruciferous vegetables, and their dressing, uh, and my other favorite salad, seafood salad. And what we call seafood salad is sashimi, some soba noodles. All right, let's give that a try. Ah, and some crane. And these are crane of paper. And we have delis of meat over here. And now we get to more hot food. The fried chicken, the fried shrimp, and some dumpling here. These are gyoza. And this is a sushi station with pre-made sushi here. Can I get, um, can I get some sushi? Thank you so much. All right, I have the sushi and let's move on. And this looks like a conger eel rice. We're filling up here and some refreshing pickled cucumbers and radish. And up above, this is a tempura station. And I can hear the sizzling because they are making the tempura fresh with the wonderful sound of tempura being deep fried. I think we're just gonna come back for that. But moving on, a roast chicken and this beautiful salmon roe with some tuna and omelet and oh gosh, these are not my favorite. The okra, a little bit slimy, but let's see. Oh, thank you. Thank you, chef. With just enough room and tempura doesn't wait, so let's take this back. So really enjoying this buffet here, so relaxing. And uh, you know, I know it doesn't have the extravagant king crab or uh, all that flashy style, but this is very relaxing. Lots of variety and very good quality. Let's go for the tempura. And it's really nice because it's nice and fresh. A little bit of the sauce. Nothing like a fresh tempura made to order nice and crispy and some warm tempura sauce. Mm. Very good. And I got to try some of that sushi. So we've got the tuna, the salmon. This is the squid and this is the octopus. Let's try. I'm actually becoming a big fan of squid here. A little bit of soy sauce. Mm. Mm. A one biter yeah. with the squid again in Japan. Very nice, almost creamy, wonderful texture. Not rubbery, mm. can't even speak, but not rubbery like at home. But let's try some of the sashimi. I believe this is a shrimp and some tuna. And this, I'm not sure what it is, but there's one way to find out. Mm. Not sure what that is, but so luscious, but definitely want to go for the tuna next. Mm. 
Very good. Tuna is fresh, nicely chilled, very sweet. Mm. Let's try the conger eel rice with a bit of salmon. And I think this is a lotus root. Mm. And I think it might be nice to mix the salmon roe in with the rice a little bit of sand a little bit of eel a little bit of salmon underneath oh beautiful bite cheers mm. the salmon roll with the eel and the rice gorgeous mm. so again i'll finish off this round and uh, Nick will take you back for some more of these wonderful compartments and uh, even dessert as well. And as nice as the wine is, there is this wonderful drink called Calpis. C-A-L-P-I-S. Cheers. Mm. So that again went by pretty quick because they were small and easy to eat. That tempura, that green looking thing right there, that was okra. What a dirty trick. But to make up for it, the shrimp sashimi was wonderful and it reinvigorated the palate and so did the soba noodles. Very refreshing. And I think it's time to go cash in our pizza card. So it is getting busy in here and oops, I went the wrong way. Okay. And chef hard at work grilling up all those great steaks. And I think it's time to go for the pizza. All right. Ah, thank you. Can I get the seafood pasta, uh, seafood pizza? Thank you. And while that pizza is cooking up, I think there is more. This is where we ended off and a good riddance, not a big fan of okra, but moving on. Ah, so we have some rice and a wonderful seafood soup. Let's keep that warm. And as good as the soup is, I think we have something better. This is made to order chicken soup ramen. Aika, thank you so much. Oh, thank you. So nice to get a comforting bowl of ramen and ramen doesn't wait. So let's devour this while we wait for our pizza. Oops, so that was pretty dangerous, but let's start slurping away. All right, beautiful ramen. Mm. Trying my best to slurp the loudest. Noodles have nice texture and just as good as the noodles are, the soup is even better. Mm. And while we're slipping away, our pizza has arrived. This is a seafood pizza, a little bit of shrimp, a little bit of scallop. Let's give this a try. Fold it up. And I can already smell that is a strong cheese. Mm. And very nice. Fresh, hot, melty cheese. Beautiful sauce, perfectly balanced. And the undercarriage, a little bit blonde, but still very good. Mm. So, I can't wait to see what they have for dessert. So I'll finish this and I'll take you back. So we are here at the dessert station and rows of desserts from the far end all the way down here to the cold desserts. And starting off, we have the jellies, a little bit orange, a little bit strawberry. This is strawberry and aloe. Never had aloe in a dessert, but let's give that a try. Ooh, tiramisu. And this is panna cotta with sakura sauce. Let's see, one here with the panna cotta. And this is an Asian favorite. This is red bean soup with some dumplings, sweet dumplings. And I know they give you ample time here, but I am in a little bit of a rush. Oh, I wish I could spend more time here, but let's see. 
The creme brulee is almost gone. These are cherry blossom buns. And moving on, this is interesting. A soybean flour warabi mochi. Never had a warabi, but uh, oh, this might be even better. A fruit tart with dried fruits. These are very nice. These are little red bean cakes, and I think there's a filling inside. I had this at the uh, Den Buffet, and it was really good. Ah, some cookies, almond cookies, and lemon cookies. And next, we have our cakes. And luckily, they are combining them, making things more efficient. A strawberry crepe cake and an Earl Grey cake. Uh, so this is a tough choice. Chocolate and mango or raspberry and pistachio, maybe both. And they fit perfectly on the tray. Right here. Room for three more desserts and three more desserts left. And these are the crystal cakes. A little bit of dumpling right here. And I thought this was banana, but luckily this is not banana. This is candied sweet potato. And I think I'm going to leave that extra spot as a good handle to bring this back to the table. Okay, so once again, this is beautiful because the sun is setting or has set. Beautiful greenery. And as good as the view over there is, the view down here is even better because we've got the custards and the jellies at the back, the cakes in the middle, and the dumplings and the potato up front. And that sweet potato dessert is really bringing the curiosity out of me. Let's give that a try. Mm. No. Let's see if we can redeem that with this glass jelly dumpling like dessert and it is sticky and chewy i wonder what's inside mm. it's actually very nice and very refreshing this is so floral in a good way a little bit sweet and a nice filling inside perfectly balanced mm -hmm. I'm gonna try some of those cakes. The million layer crepe cake with a sponge at the bottom. Oh. I have just squished the many layers of crepe because it is so delicate and soft. Really nice. Mm. Go for the crepe cake. As good as a crepe cake is. Oh no, let's try the green one. The green is pistachio, and even better, if you can believe it, than the crepe cake. Just go for all the cakes. They are so good. Mm. And maybe a little bit of jelly. This is the Sakara panna cotta. Don't know what Sakara tastes like, but we'll find out together. Let's give this a try. Mm. It's almost like cherries in a floral way, and the panna cotta is perfectly set. Mm, very good. So, this is Tusuruga Buffet, and I hope I'm pronouncing this right. As far as I know, this is on the only one in Japan that I found that has no time limit. Really elegant, little dishes, all done to perfection. And I think this is one of the buffets that I kind of enjoy the most. It's uh, very relaxing. Lots of little dishes that you can try with so many variety and each one done so well. And I think that's the key. It doesn't need to have extravagant ingredients. Just needs to be done well with lots of surprises. And I think I need a glass of wine. And thank you so much for joining. I really appreciate you spending this time with me in Japan. And uh, until we see each other again, I hope you're eating well. I hope you're traveling well. And God bless and take care of each other. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Very nice and a gorgeous view.